What's up everyone? Welcome to vlog 23 from this tiny tropical garden. This week's actually been quite nice. Just hardening off my seedlings, dividing some canna musifolia, and moving some other plants around the garden. Let me show you. Now, my low plastic coleus cuttings have taken really well. I've just put them into the toilet roll tubes like I showed in a previous vlog, and you can see the roots are coming really well out of the bottom. This technique of planting into toilet roll tubes, or any cardboard tube for that matter, has two benefits. Firstly, the cutting's roots are trained deep down into the soil, so the plant won't dry out as fast. And finally, the cardboard tube will just decay away and actually add carbon into your soil, which is fantastic and it reduces the amount of plastic I've needed to use in my tiny tropical garden. This is my begonia luxuriance before I planted it out. Unfortunately, when I got home the day after planting, it had got too much direct sunlight and had scorched, so I think I might have lost this plant, which is a real shame. A lot of my amaranthus seedlings look like they've got some virus or bacterial infection. They're wilting and curling, but I'll give them some time and see if they recover and just check that it's not shot from being moved outdoors. I've lifted this canna musifolia, which I only planted recently, because I saw there was a good sized second shoot coming from the base with enough roots of its own. Now this plant cost me £17.50, so if I can divide it and get more than one, I feel less bad about spending that money. You've learnt my technique by now, just saw through the base, be confident and you will get multiple plants, so long as each has a good root system of its own. I'll plant each of these in separate parts of the garden and hopefully they'll have lush foliage by the end of summer. I'll keep you updated. And hopefully you remember that beautiful, huge tropical leaved colocasia I had in the garden last summer. All the sprouting parts of the plant that I saved and potted up have all started to put out their first leaves. I'll leave them in my parents' greenhouse to get a bit bigger and then I'll put them back out in my tiny garden. These are great for tropical foliage. And those creeping thyme cuttings that we put around the top pool of the stream are showing signs of green new growth, which means they're rooting away well. Soon this concrete edge will be covered and it will look much more natural. I've also moved my tropical carnivorous pitcher plant to the top of the stream. Its roots will be in the water here, but the top of the plant will be in full sun, which will help it grow away and it will be a really cool feature plant for that part of the garden. During the days this week, we've had about 17, 18 degrees heat, which has been fantastic. And at night, we've had no colder than five degrees Celsius. With this 24 hour change in temperature, the plants are really gonna to start to put on a lot of new growth. However, we've had hardly any rain. So I've already had to start watering, especially the new shrubs and trees, because they won't have got their roots deep enough to find water yet. But that's me for this week. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you've got any questions or tips or advice or just want a discussion, comment below and either me or one of the tiny tropical tribe will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching.